Um, so I, I'm not. I think the last time people saw you on TV, you were playing um, Irene Adler on Sherlock. This is an eight-episode series. Does mm -hmm. that give you time to be able to go back and do that? I think Martin Freeman told us not too long ago that he's going to have time to go back. Yeah. And your character was very fun. It was. The response has been quite enormous, to be yeah. honest. And um, from fairy to dominatrix to Italian Renaissance woman. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I'd throw a few in the mix. And Chekhov's well, I did last year. So. Um, <laughs> Um, very, very lucky. But um, absolutely, if, if the potential is there for the character to return... Because she's alive. She is alive. He did save her. Um, then it would be an absolute pleasure to, to return. With. I, I, I just have to ask for my own curiosity what it's like working with Benedict, because it's a really interesting year for him. Mm -hmm. And just like you were sort of part of sort of the Renaissance year of Sherlock, so to speak. I remember there being a moment on set where Paul McGuigan said, can we just take five for a second? Because he needed to take a call from Bruce Willis. Benedict needed to get on a conference call with Steven Spielberg. And Martin needed to sort something with Peter Jackson. And I had that moment of going, this isn't a bad place to be today. <laughs> and you had a call from Alan Ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, precisely. Or David. Oh, yeah. And also, I, you know, I was really fortunate this year. I was due to work with Akiva Goldsman on his directorial debut of Winter's Tale. And I had that moment where I was trying to negotiate between David Goyer and, and Akiva. And I thought, wow, just to, I think it was always my dream just to work with great minds and very talented people, whatever scale that was, whatever genre it was in. And when it's being realized, it's, you can't wipe the smile off my face right now. Do you now. guys keep in touch? Because you, you both of you had a really good chemistry on screen. Benedict I and I? Yeah, yeah, very much. Um, when you're that in, having to be that intimate with someone, barriers just come down because yeah. you're having to trust that person. You're having to feel very safe in their presence. And he was such a gentleman. And having just done Frankenstein himself on stage where he'd been butt naked yes. with Johnny Lee Miller. Um, that is not a bad show to go see well, twice. Yeah. It sold out very fast, I don't know why. <laughs> um, I, he was extremely sympathetic as well to the process. Um, so I'd say we have a, a lovely chemistry and a lovely rapport and, and a relationship where we might not see each other for a few months and then we get back together and it's just like old friends. He was actually here yesterday via satellite. Ah, oh, oh. that's why he came last year via satellite. That's right. That's I right. think he just purposefully like puts himself in a location so he can come via satellite. A little cardigan <laughs> on. So, um, so finally, um, mm. you were killed off on True Blood. But mm. Claudine could come back in flashbacks. She's a fairy. We need to know more about um, Suki's parents. Do you have any interest in coming back? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the last ep I, I did of this season was Stephen Moyer's directorial debut. Oh, great. So it was lovely just to pop back for all of 30 seconds of a scene and just see Stephen at the helm and, and, and how he is so integral to that project and how his passion is driving it in different directions. And um, it's such a lovely family at, at True Blood that... Um, and they're brilliant at accommodating schedules, so I can just like pop back and, and do um, a scene such as that. So, um, absolutely.